Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, EOS, and also PIOS airdrops. So actually, this is uh, come from one of my viewers about this airdrop. Um, I will get into that. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop giveaway half up. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So if you watch my previous video about Bitcoin, and uh, let's see. So on first day, I created a video about Bitcoin. I told everybody not to FOMO in because um, that may be a potential dump, right? So <clears throat> I created a video on first day as well as Saturday. So at the time, I think on Saturday, it's 4001 or something Bitcoin. And I told everybody I'm not going to FOMO in. So, so right now, today, we have a big dump for the Bitcoin. Uh, Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, this is across the board uh, dump. So at this time, um, I'm not going to, I don't want to catch the falling knife either. So we'll see. Anyway, um, so if you go to BTC USD uh, short position, uh, right now it's not that high anyway. And for the BTC long position, uh, it has been going back up a little bit. But so my my take on that is uh, Bitcoin will be going to sideways uh, for a while and probably will sideways with a downward momentum. So this will be very similar to the 2014 uh, bear market cycle. So, for in terms of Ethereum uh, long position, you can see the Ethereum long position has been building up. So, I'm suspecting uh, they may dump Ethereum later on uh, further. And if you go to Ethereum, the USD short position is not that high anyway. So, for Litecoin, um, Litecoin short position is not that high. Litecoin long position has been building up as well. Probably a potential dump in a uh, future, uh, further dump ahead of ahead. And if you go to the BitMEX liquidation bot, so currently they are liquidating long on Ethereum, sell Ethereum, liquidating long on Ethereum, sell Ethereum, liquidating long on Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, sell Bitcoin, li liquidating long on Ethereum, sell uh, Ethereum, liquidating long on Bitcoin. Okay. So you can check the liquidation bot. Also, you can, um, I will get into this later. Also, there's a whale watch. Uh, you can see the movement of the Bitcoin. Over 1,700 Bitcoin transfer from unknown wallet to Bitfinance. Oh, there's 1.3 million Omisigo transfer from unknown wallet to Binance. See, that's interesting. Over 1,700 Bitcoin transfer from Bitfinance to unknown wallet. So this looks like this is a wash trade. Maybe the, the exchange just want to create some type of transactions, some type of volume. So this may not be a true volume. And let's see. So you have 13,000 Ethereum from unknown wallet to Binance. That was eight hours ago. 13,000 Ethereum from OKX to unknown wallet. Hmm, is it? Maybe this is the same transaction, like OKX to unknown wallet, and then 13,000 from unknown wallet to Binance. So 25,000 uh, Bitcoin transfer from unknown wallet, unknown wallet to Bitfinance. Okay, you can check it out. And I want to point out one thing about the um, 2014 bear market cycle. And this will be very similar to, um, looks like it will be very similar to the bear market cycle of the 2014. So you can see the bear market, uh, the, you can see the Bitcoin price going up and down, going up and down on a sideward, downward momentum. Uh, finally on 2015, out of the bear market and then go back up all the way to 20,000 uh, in 2017. So probably we are somewhere still uh, in a sideways movement and downward momentum. Um, Let's look at this one. So this is from Murray. Uh, Murray, um, they talk about, so he talk, basically talk about uh, 2019 will be mirror 2014 bear market uh, cycle. So you can see at the time 430, uh, it got rejected at four, uh, 430. And then it go all the way down to around 360 and then go to free, 360 and then go side, sideways for for quite uh, for a while and then go down to 345 so here is the same thing uh, 4300 we got rejected <coughs> actually we got rejected multiple times we got rejected here we got rejected here 
and it got rejected here once again. It's rejected the third time. So right now, uh, going back down. So uh, as long as so right now, it looks like the projection go to three thousand six hundred, and um, so this is from Crypto Mirex. So basically, talk about the bull market beginning in twenty twelve. Uh, lasted about 746 days from bottom to top. So here from bottom to top, uh, 746 days, almost two and a half years, right? From That was from 2012 to 2013. And from 2014, the bear, uh, the bear market cycle from the top to bottom lasts about 404 days. And from 2015, the beginning of the bull market, all the way to 2017, which is December 2017, uh, Bitcoin at 20,000. This bull market lasts about uh, 1050, um, 1054 days, which is almost probably three years. <coughs> so he's uh, questioning, how can the bear market of 2018 last only 374 days? Right now we are here. So from top to bottom, based on historical data, the, from 2014 is 404 days. Right now, we are only at 374 days. Uh, so it should, probably should take longer for this bear market uh, cycle. So this, uh, he is saying that the bottom is not in because of the historical data. And the 200 uh, moving average adding as a support, are we going to hold it or are we going to break it? If you're going to break it, and then the next level will be the uh, 300, 300 uh, moving average, which is at 2,400. So let me know what you think about this um, bear market cycle. Are we out of the bear market? Are we still have more rooms to go? Do you think we are near the bottom? Please comment below. I would like to hear from you. Um, the next stop, uh, I'm going to talk about the PIOS. So just in case you haven't installed the Brave Bowser, um, you can click the link below. That will help out my channel because uh, Brave Bowser is pretty good because it broke out all the unnecessary advertising and all that. It's uh, improved the speed on my computer as well. So PIOS. <coughs> so the PIOS, uh, basically the airdrop is already started. Um, you can claim your airdrops in using your scattered wallet. I wish you can just have the airdrop automatically distribute to your wallet instead of using your scattered wallet to claim it. I would rather that, but anyway. So you have to claim your EOS, a uh, PIOS. So PIOS is basically a private uh, transactions. They are utilizing the Monero, the ring signature technology. So if you're familiar with Monero, it's a privacy coin. So basically they utilize the ring signature, uh, uh, utilize uh, ring signature of the Monero uh, to do this uh, private uh, transaction. And you know this PIOS uh, airdrops, I didn't realize it until one of my viewer, I think Mitchell Post, talked about it. Uh, because I've been traveling quite a bit lately, so it's sometimes it's difficult for me to keep track of everything. And in crypto, everything goes so fast, right? <clears throat> So, so this is basically private and untraceable uh, privacy token, PIOS. And the snapshot is already token, uh, February 25th. And the airdrop will be starting on February 25th. And they're going to launch it on the testnet, jungle testnet on Q2 2019. Q3 PIOS is going to launch on the EOS mainnet. So this will be one-to-one -one, uh, distribution. So if you have one EOS, you're going to get one PIOS. So this is basically a privacy coin. Uh, in the EOS ecosystem. So let me know what you think about this PIOS project. Uh, let's look at the Twitter, how many followers? Oh, there are currently 100, uh, 195 followers right now. So if you're interested, you can claim the EOS token, uh, the PIOS token, not EOS. <laughs> so if you find this uh, video helpful, smash the like, subscribe, also share with your friends, also comment below. Uh, you guys are very important to me. You are the reason why I create all these videos because um, I really need your support. Anyway, so if you find this helpful, like, subscribe, share, comment below. And I read all the comments and I respond to all the comments as well. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. And remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency or ICO has inherent risk. Please use a due diligence.